They were finishing dinner when the Palestinian attacker came in through a window and went on a rampage, knifing three family members to death. Hours earlier, the 19-year-old posted on Facebook calls for resistance against events unfolding at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Hours before that, three Palestinians were killed in violent clashes with Israeli police, clashes that erupted after Friday prayers. Tension and violent confrontations between Palestinians and Israelis in Jerusalem and beyond have been ongoing for nearly a week as Muslim worshippers protest Israel's placement of metal detectors inside Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, Islam's third holiest site. Israel erected the screening devices after two policemen were shot dead by Arab assailants in the mosque vicinity. The United States, the UN, Jordan and Turkey are calling on Israel to dismantle the devices. On Friday, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas announced he is freezing contact and cooperation with Israel until the situation is resolved. I declare on behalf of the Palestinian leadership the suspension of all contacts with the occupation state of Israel on all levels until Israel cancels its measures against our Palestinian nation in general and against Jerusalem and at al aska Mosque in particular. Stephanie Freed, CGTN at Halami Settlement in the West Bank.